show. Good afternoon. You know, as usual, I couldn't bring y'all the video, show y'all some stuff, show y'all how to see through some stuff. Probably show y'all some things that you may have seen, may have not seen. You know, today, as the title implies, we're going to show you how low levelers work. What's up, OG Silent? How low levelers work and how they allow you to have a step deck trailer and basically run a load that is pretty much designated as flatbed only. What's up, D? Out here sweating like a dog, but we working, we getting this money. Just got through dropping off this, this cement. I'm still at the Home Depot. I'm getting prepared for, uh, I think I got a four o'clock appointment. I'm going to get there about maybe three and pick up a load of rebar that is 51 feet long. 51 feet long. I have a four day foot step deck. FFCSA and the Law Security Handbook say you, in most states, not every last one of them, but in most states, you can have a four foot overhang off the rear without a permit. So, 4851 is three. And I probably, what I probably do is run about a foot and a half off the front and a foot and a half off the back. Or one in the front, two at the back. Still put a flag on it just for safety's sake, though. Still going to put a flag on it. But what I can't show y'all today was yet another use for this ridiculously priced set of ramps because I told y'all it's a modular system. It does more than one thing. These are not just ramps. This is a system. It's a system that comes together and makes those ramps go from 10 feet to 20 feet. They height adjustable. Y'all saw that last time with the large forklift. And they also have some attachments that turn them into what is known as load levelers. And for those that don't know what load levelers are, these are load levelers. This is not the complete system. I'm going to show you uh, what's left. Because if you look at that level right there, and you look at that right there, you'll see that they are indeed about three, four inches lower than they should be to make that deck level. Y'all see that? I'm going to show y'all. It's a system, though. And it's convertible for the steak pocket. So we're going to pull that out. And we're going to reach it here like that. Hold on. We're going to pull this pin out. Pull this pin out. We're going to reach in here like this. And we'll get the little surprise up out of here. T6160 machine billet. Like I said, billet. You see it shining. We're going to slide that in there like so. Line up the hole. Reinsert our pin. Replace the Carter pin on the side. So when you do that, you extend it. And you get that. If you'll notice from the top, it slides in, also machined and nicely welded in like this. We're going to face the big tang, face it forward like this, and drop it in the corresponding hole. Go, go, gadget. Ramps is right, brother. Okay. Now, once we do that, You'll come over here and take note that it requires a chain that fits in a slit and that is tightened by a ratchet binder. This is why you use a ratchet binder so you can feel it. You don't have to do both sides because this is actually wedging itself inside the state pocket. Fits quite nicely. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we install the last set because I pretty much did it all. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get to that. Get y'all a good vantage point. It's hot out here, y'all. I 
right. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to get our ramp. Put our gloves on first again because I took them off messing with the phone. Put our gloves back on. And we're going to grab the ramp, pick it up, <sighs> standing up vertical, lift with your legs, lift with your legs. Okay, hold on. I think we got these. The Tad. Oh, okay, I got the back. I got the ramp actually flipped the wrong way. <sighs> so, Orient your ramp correctly. Find the point in which it slides in. And we slide in. And as we stated before, we're going to get a chain. Can y'all still hear pretty well? Get a chain. Ooh, man. And as we always do, we're going to hook it to the non welded side of the chain. Proceed to pull that chain with as much tension as we can into the first eyelet of the low level. Doesn't have to be super tight, but you want to get it in there. You want to get it in there. It's going to catch itself. All right. We finna get ready to get out of here, man. I just wanted to hit y'all see it. See what the bid in the world. Because we, we continue to be on the grind all the time, which means running and getting stuff that people think you can't get. That's one of the big ways when we started out that we made our bones out here was doing stuff other people couldn't do and wouldn't do and that there wasn't a truck of that specific type available in that certain area at that specific time we are able to convert the trailer into something more useful for the cause at that particular time and if y'all know like i know that lead to a check Well, don't you hate it when a link gets stuck? run this chain right quick and then got one more piece to the puzzle to add it ain't over with yet you just can't put the, leg, the, the naked load on the low levels right Oh man. 
I'm gonna kill this one and start another one. Come on, my phone got too hot. Y'all back? Hey man, shoot, come on back. We back live. Turn around, let y'all see what we got. No part to the system. I'm finna end this live, crank right back up. If y'all on here right now, come back and holler at me in about two minutes.